Well, today on the National Real Estate Cafe, we break away from what we've done. We are always bringing you up to date on what's going on in the marketplace to make sure you're in the know every single day. Today, we're going to give you a little more of a education, I would say. All right, let's jump to the first slide. All right. <laughs> conventional refinances. What's a conventional loan? Right? So a lot of times people mistake mortgage for mortgage, and they don't know the differences between products and what each one of those products is used for and how they're used and the difference in rates between those products. So we're going to kind of go through these maybe like once or twice a week and show you the different products and what the pros and cons are. Of well, each today one. and tomorrow we're going to go through a couple of items that you really should know the difference. You hear about conventional loans or you hear about – FHA or VA. So we're going to break them down and go, what does it mean to you? All right, All right. Let's take a look at conventional, Don. All right. So reasons you would use a conventional loan. Conventional loans are typically sold to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. However, also portfolio product loans that are sold by big banks that create their own portfolio products are also considered conventional loans. All right. And what we like about conventional loans versus FHA, FHA is a great way to get into your first home or your next home uh, because you only need three but 3.5% down, it's flexible with ratios, it's flexible with getting gifts to get in and all that good stuff. The conventional loan has similar, it has a lot of similarities, except the beautiful thing, FHA requires you to have mortgage insurance. You have to have mortgage insurance, whereas conventional, you can get around mortgage insurance with different options with it, or 20% down, or there's ways to get around mortgage insurance with lender paid mortgage insurance, one-time mortgage insurance, or maybe monthly ins mortgage insurance is better. That's right. So there's definitely a way. So one of the reasons you would do a conventional refinance is to eliminate mortgage insurance mm -hmm. in some way, shape, or form. The next bullet point is to consolidate a first and a second. The reason you would possibly want to consolidate a first and a second is typically those second mortgages are variable rate mortgages, and they are also interest only for five or ten years at a time. So it's not uncommon these days to have your second mortgage adjust to the fully amortized 20-year payment and albeit the rate is still pretty low, it could be a significant jump in payment. Nicely done, Gino. All right, all, obviously you use a conventional loan to get out of your subprime loan, an alt day loan, meaning higher interest rate loan to help you get back it, back into the market. Right. You know, we had that, you know, tough times. And then obviously get out of that uh, adjustable rate mortgage that might be adjusting. Yeah, and you could get from an arm to an arm to extend the term of an arm, from an arm to a fixed. Mm -hmm. Uh, some people are going from a fix to an arm. Some people thought they'd be in a home forever. They now know they're going to have to move in two to three years, and they know they could save a few bucks if they go from a fix to an arm. So at the end of the day, a lot of good reasons to look at a conventional loan. 60% refinance. of the reason. <laughs> well, there you go, Don. 60% <laughs> of all loans are, are conventional loans, so they're very popular loans. All right. Well, so if you have a conventional loan or think you should evaluate to see if you can get out of one of your other type of loans to get into a conventional loan, Reach out to us by emailing us at what? Don and Gino at gmail.com. That's super easy. D O N A N D G I N O at gmail.com. All right. Or check us out. We have a, a podcast now. We're on iTunes for National Real Estate Cafe. Check us out tomorrow. See what's brewing.